Hey y'all, it's your girl Keish. Welcome and welcome back to the Keish TV. What's going on my good people? How y'all doing out there today? Today I have for you guys a cooking video. Yeah, I, I've been with, I was supposed to give y'all this video and I said, you know what? I'm going to get back into my cooking. You heard me? So look, this is what I'm doing. You know, I'm doing my little cooking video for y'all. And today what I will be making, I will be making crab stuff shrimp. You hear me? That's right. Crab stuff shrimp. And these are my ingredients as follows. I have some gluten-free panko breadcrumbs. Even though, yeah, I wasn't supposed to use the panko breadcrumbs, but I got it. It is what it is. So, you know, I ain't worrying about it too much because, like I said, I don't eat like that. So, this stuff doesn't affect me as, you know, it doesn't affect me like it used to. I have some Louisiana hot sauce. I didn't have no crystals, but, you know, I'm going to make it do what it do. You heard me? Right, here, I got some, uh, y'all can't see that. I got some Norris chicken bouillon. I got some good old Duke's mayonnaise, right, here. I got some Worcestershire sauce. I got some Tony Sacheris Creole seasoning. I got some onion powder, some garlic powder, some parsley flakes. I got a bulb of garlic. And I got some, uh... Oh, crab meat. <laughs> Almost dropped it. I got some crab meat. Also, I have some uh, colossal, not super colossal, but colossal shrimp with the shells on. And I'm going to get to peeling those. So, I'm going to put this over here. So, anyway, I'm going to peel those to the end where the little swimmer rats at. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to peel that right here. As y'all can see, I got some green onion. Here, right here, this is our holy trinity. The um, onion, we have some onion, some bell pepper, and some celery, right? And I don't have these chopped up in it because it's just going to be this that's chopped. And I wanted to show y'all just what I do with it. It ain't, you know, it ain't much that I do with it. I just put it in the food processor, blitz it up, take it out, there it is. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm going to peel these garlic. I'm going to peel this whole bulb of garlic. And, uh, yeah, and then we're going to get into... Uh, getting the mix together for the crab because I don't uh, I don't put the mix in in the crab as I'm you know mm -mm, No, I put it in and then I put the crab, you know I pour it over the crab, you know because you, you don't want you don't want to have too much of You don't want to have too much of the sauce on your crab because you want to be able to uh, Put as light a light amount of this in it as possible so without any further ado y'all let's get started okay y'all now let's go ahead on and put this up in here I like to put the hard pieces in first which is like the the celery because the celery it you know that's probably gonna take like longer than like break up than the bell pepper and the onion and I just put all the celery in there, so, you know, it is what it is. It ain't going to hurt nothing. I'm going to put most of this in here. This right here, this is going to wait. And I'm going to let it, I'm going to pulse it. Oh, come on now, come on. Let's go and get that. Don't do that. Don't do all that. It's trying to act the fool with me. Come on, y'all. I just took this thing off, y'all. You know what? Let me go ahead and try to get this on here. Soon as I clicked off, y'all. Soon as I clicked off, it did that. Now, y'all give me a minute and, you know, sorry about the sound. Okay. That was the first batch. Now, let's put the last remaining of the bell pepper and onion in here. And then we're going to be done with this. We're going to be able to put it to the side, you heard me? So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get that together. Let's put it in here. All right. And here you have it. It might look all, you know, white and everything. You know, all just like not really clumpy. But you don't really, like when you make it seasoning and you just really want to taste the seasoning... But you don't want to be tasting all the chunks of it. This is what you do. This is what you do. Now, a lot of this is the uh, juice from the veggies. Because y'all know veggies produce juice. 
And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this. I'm going to put some of this in a bowl. I'm going to take out some of the juice cuz like I say I don't want my um I don't want my stuff in to be so loose. I don't want my mix to be real real loose. But I'm going to take out some of the juice and I'm going to put it in a bowl and I get back to cutting up these uh green onion and garlic. So Okay, y'all, I have cut up, I cut up my green onions, I chopped up my garlic, and as y'all can see, I squeezed out the juice out my seasoning mix, and, uh, you know, well, you know, my Trinity mix. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take parts of these, and I'm going to cook them. Like I said, I don't really use measurements, because I just, I mean, I try to use measurements for y'all, but y'all know, it's just... You know, sometimes when you're using measurements, sometimes it work out, sometimes it don't. But I just feel like this. Y'all go with how you feel. Y'all y'all season to how you feel. Y'all season, you know, with your chest. You hear me? Season with authority. You hear me? That's my thing. That's my thing. Now, I have my uh, seasoning right here. I have some garlic powder. And I'm just, I'm just adding garlic powder, as y'all can see. Garlic powder, onion powder, and I'm just letting it go. I'm just, you know, I'm just letting it go. All right. Now, um, I got some chicken base, chicken bouillon, anyway, if you will. And I'm gonna put about, I'm gonna put about. About that much. You know what? I'm gonna go and put a little more. And I ain't gonna hurt nothing. I ain't gonna hurt nothing. And I'm gonna put some Tony Sacheries in there. And as y'all can see, I'm just pouring. Alright. <coughs> <coughs> Oh wow! Everybody, should I have parsley flakes? <coughs> parsley flakes, so good. <coughs> oh, oh. excuse me, y'all. If you ain't sneezing, you ain't seasoning. You hear me? You ain't. You ain't. There's just no way. You know. And now, that's everything. That's my garlic powder. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. That's my garlic powder, onion powder, Tony Sacheries, uh, chicken bouillon, and um, parsley flakes. And I'm going to whisk this up. And I don't know. I might just put a little bit of salt in there. But I think, I think between the Tony's and the chicken base, it's enough. It's enough. But you know what else I think I should add in there just for color? Some paprika. So, I'm going to get that paprika, and I'm going to put it in here, and I'm going to come back um, to show y'all what I do with my shrimp. Okay, y'all. Now, I got my shrimp. Like I said, these are some colossal shrimp. These are not super colossal. I'm just going to show y'all what I'm going to do with them. As y'all can see, I'm peeling them all the way down. All the way down right here to this part because I want to be able to... When I stuff it, when I stuff it, all I want is just this part, this part of the tail. All of the rest of it, I don't want it on up. Now, maybe, I mean, honestly, this takes a little time. It's a little tedious, but it is what it is. You know, especially if you just want it like that. All of this here, I want it like that. You know, as you can see, I did that. Now, what I'm about to do is I'm about to cut some splits, some slits. Oh. I did that too hard, too uh, much. Right there, right? And, uh, oh, I did that too much. And you basically flatten it out like that. You see? I cut that one too hard because I was talking. See? Mm. Y'all try not to make the mistake I made because that, that, was, that was just ridiculous. I was ridiculous, but it is what it is. All right, let's do this again. As y'all can see, I put a paper towel over my um 
over my mouse just because I don't want to uh, touch it while I'm touching the shrimp. Nah. Put some slits in it and you break it down like that. You push it down. See? Perfect. Perfect. You know, it didn't, I didn't, I didn't do it like this. I did it like this. Okay. I'm going to do this two more times with y'all. And then I'm going to go ahead on and finish them up. And I'm going to come back with them after, you know, after I finished with it. And let y'all see the end result. All right. And then we're going to get into the, um, we're going to get into making the sauce. You know what? Let me just go ahead on and do this one, you know, and then uh, break it, you know. All right. So how y'all dig on? What y'all up to? Let me know what y'all up to. Oh. Okay. Now, again. Slit, 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 slit. No more. Then we're going to push it down. All right. All right. And that's just to ensure that when you are frying them, they don't curl up, you know. They don't curl up. They stay long. And I don't think I'm going to do many of these. I'm just going to do about uh, 12 because I know my little baby, he might want some. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead on and finish these. I'm going to finish these and I'm going to come back, y'all. Okay, and here you have it. This is what they look like. So, you know, once I did it, I did 14 instead of uh, instead of 12. Just because I had messed this one up and everything. So, you know, but anyway. Um, yeah. Nah, I done got that together. Nah, I done got my mise en place. All I got to do now is make my sauce. Then put it in the crab and everything. But I also need to cook this down. Like I told y'all, I will be cooking this down. Because I don't want it to just be raw or whatever. I like to cook mine down. So, it is what it is. So, you know, next is the seasoning. Next comes, no, next comes making the sauce. Okay, y'all. In my skillet, I have a tablespoon of butter. Salted butter. Y'all know the girl like her salted butter. I have been using unsalted butter for certain dishes, but... This is a salted butter dish, y'all. Uh, so, yeah. And I have my, I have my electric skillet on 300. So, yeah. Now, I'm gonna go ahead on lay up there, and I'm gonna put in some of my seasonings. Uh, 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 fly. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I'm using my hands, so y'all, you know, it is what it is. But I'm using a glove, so. It is what it is. I have that. I have my seasoning. My trinity. And I have green onion. Ooh, oh, almost dropped. Almost dropped. I'll put the garlic in last. Yeah, I put, uh, and then I just want to really cook out some of the, some of the, uh, the water. Which, honestly, like I always tell y'all, the water ain't nothing but the little flavor and stuff. But at the same time, you know, like I also said, I don't want to make my, I don't want to make my sauce loose. So, and this is about enough seasoning. I don't know how much I put in here. So, you know, all I know is I grab some and put some in here. This going to cook for about maybe... Three, four minutes. I'm going to just let this cook for about three, no, two, three minutes more. And then I'm going to put 
put the garlic in here, you know. I'm going to put the garlic in there. All right, I just let this cook for three minutes. I added another tablespoon of butter. Now I'm about to put the garlic in here. Because y'all know I don't want to let my garlic burn at all. At all. Because y'all know burnt garlic, mm-mm, mm-mm. That is not a good thing. We're going to let this cook for about two minutes. Oh, Lord, that smells so good. It smells so good. Smells so good. Oh. Yeah, this smells so good, y'all. I wish y'all could smell this. Nah. All right. And I'm stirring it to keep it from burning. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it to burn, so that's why I'm constantly stirring it. So, you know, you know, like when you're doing plot rings, you constantly stir it because you don't want to keep it from burning. I mean, they have ways that you don't have to, you know, constantly stir it. I just never really tried that way before, but I know there is uh, ways that you can make flourings without uh, having a constantly stirring, but I constantly stir mine, so, you know. All right, so. All right, that looks good enough. That looks good. That looks good. So I'm gonna cut this off. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna put it in this bowl right here, and I'm gonna let it uh get cool before i no matter of fact i'm gonna put it in another bowl because this is the bowl that i'm putting my sauce in and everything so yeah i'm putting it like this so when i empty it into the bowl it'll just come straight out here so yeah all right so let's go and get that okay y'all let me show y'all what I want to do with my shrimp, I want to season them a little bit, you know, not too much, just a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. That way, like I said, if you season throughout, you'll always have a tasty outcome. So you want the seasoning to go from the shrimp to the sauce to the crab mix, all that. You want it to be seasoned all the way through. You hear me? And that's what we're going to do. We're going to season this. And we're going to put it to the side. I know y'all hear that. Or whatever. That's my son. He uh getting the heat out of those. uh Out my season. Oh, shit. See? Look. See? Mm -hmm. I knew that one was going to break. I knew it was. But it is what it is. I'm going to still stuff it. You hear me? I'm still going to do something with it. All right. Now. We're going to put this to the side. We're going to have to get another glove. Because, yes, yes, ma'am. Got to have another glove. No cross-contamination. So, we're going to um, come back with the seasoning. I mean, with the sauce. Okay, y'all. Now, time to make the sauce. My seasoning has been cooked down, and it is cool. I'm also going to add some Dijon mustard to this. Not a lot, but just enough. I'm going to add... I guess this would be two heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise. Okay, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. All right, I'm, oh, I'm gonna add some Dijon mustard. All right, that's an, oh, ah, I can't stand when, clean it off. When the mustard get on the end of it, I'm gonna add a little Worcestershire sauce. Some hot sauce. You know, make it a little spicy, not too much. Add in my seasoning mix. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. Then we're gonna add in some seasoning. We're gonna add that much, all right? We're gonna add that much and then we're gonna whisk it. <laughs> we're gonna whisk it. All right.
I should have got a smaller bowl because, you know, nah. Nah, it's good. All right, this is the consistency I'm looking for. Not too, uh, not too loose, not too thick. You know what I'm saying? Just good enough so when I put my crab meat in here, it will, you know, it'll be good. But you know what I am going to do? I think I'm going to take some of this out. So that's a good thing I left this, uh, bowl like this just in case I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some out because I don't want to add I don't want it to be too soupy too loose all right now this does not look like much in us and that's why I'm gonna be adding I'm going to add because you can always add in you can't take out you know and then for you to uh if I'd have kept that in there, I probably would have needed more of these breadcrumbs. And I don't want to do all that. So, let me get these crabs together and I'm going to be right back. Okay, y'all. Now, nah, as you can see, I got my crab meat. And I'm not about to just pour it in there because then, because they have water in here. I don't want to really mess up the integrity of the crab, but it is what it is, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, when I'm making crab cakes. And I have jumbo lump. Oh, no. I'm not messing up the integrity of that. No, I, I, I just can't. But I want to make sure this is enough for those 14 or however many it decides to make. You know what? That, uh, that juice ain't really nothing. All right, so this is what they look like. You know. All right, that's what it looks like because see, in this, it is, it's lump, and I guess just the regular swimmers or whatever. And with this, I'm going to use my hand. You know, I'm going to use my hand to mix it. And like I say, you know, you can add more or less, and I see that I'm going to need to add more. So, I'm about to do that. Let me go in on. Add some more. All right. All right. It's starting to look the way I want it to look. Not too loose. Not too, not too dry, not too loose, but just right. You want to be able to mix this to where it can make a ball and not fall apart. Because you're also going to put this in a refrigerator, you know, when you mix it, when you put it with the shrimp for 15 minutes. So it can kind of harden up and give the grease, well, as you can see, my, my deep fry is right here. It gives it a chance to... Uh, solidify mesh together actually oh, see look at that look at that see look and this is what I'm trying to do I'm trying to be able to smash it and put the shrimp on it without it falling apart let me see well I ain't worried about that but even so dry enough let's see is it dry enough it's dry enough for me that I don't think I'm going to have to add these panko. Yay. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm being silly right now. But, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm happy about that because I really don't want to. I really don't want to add, you know, the panko breadcrumbs. So, let me see. Because you have to check for flavor. Mm, I don't need no more. I don't need nothing else. Oh, that's good, Bobby. Mm-hmm. That's good. I don't need to add no more. Because I'm going to add one more thing in here. But I'm going to come back with it and let y'all see what it's going to be. So, I'll be back, y'all. 
so yeah I'm gonna be back okay y'all don't have to use the panko but I'm gonna use some cheese and I got some shredded pepper jack cheese with shredded Monterey Jack and jalapeno you know like I said make it a little spicy I mean I'm gonna deal with a little spice you know I mean it's already tight but I want to tighten it up just a little more and give it just a little bit more uh I mean make it a little cheesy if you know if it'll let it be cheesy you know if it'll allow it to be cheesy because you know y'all know one more uh uh see these damn flies see when people in and out your damn house and they don't want to close the door that's the thing should get it already running up your damn electricity running in and out your house oh sorry <laughs> already running up your electricity Running in and out. My grandma used to say that, like, y'all gonna pay my electricity bill? Y'all gonna pay it? No? What well, kick ass outside? And we used to be outside. Trust and believe. And even though I was Sparrow, I was a Sparrow girl. You hear me? I still had to go outside and play with everybody else. All right. Now I'm not gonna try to. I'm tr gonna try not to make these too big. So y'all, give me one second. Okay, y'all. I had to get a plate, and let's see if this is gonna work out. Cause I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I almost did not do this video because you know, as y'all can see, this is this takes a while. This takes a while to to do. You hear me? All right. This is. I got it going and I'm going to cover it. I'm gonna cover it. Like I said, I don't want to make it too big like I did the other time. See, but see, then you got this much out and I can't have that because I don't want it like that. I want to be able to cover all of, all of it up until the swimmer rack. And I'm covering up my I'm covering up my shrimp because, like I told y'all, them damn flies. I don't want that on my food. Mm -mm. It's pretty nasty. So, all right. Now, I got it down. Okay, so, I mean, they still look like they're going to come out big. So, it don't, it don't matter, though. It don't matter. I'm going to get it. I'm gonna do one more with y'all and then I'm going to uh I'm gonna do one more with y'all and then I'm gonna come back with all of them done. Cause yeah, this this is tedious. It takes time. It really does. This takes time, so you know, if I was doing it on my cell phone, I'd have just, you know, did it, kept doing it with y'all and just sped it up so Y'all can see me doing it like that, but I'm on my, I'm on my computer, so, nah. Gotta make sure it's all, oh, nah. All right. Here you have it. That's one down. 11 more to go. Let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to smash it like this and put the shrimp in it put the shrimp in it okay and that one covered covered that whole part let's see if this is going to shake something okay let's see all right it looked like it's trying to get the it, it it's getting up I'm going to take some of this off. Now I'm going to just go ahead and put that back on because that's on my, uh, 
on my mouse. And like I said, these are going to go in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes so that they can solidify. So when I get ready to put them in the egg wash in my my cornmeal dredge, they be okay. Okay, see, that one was, that's sticking out. Mm -mm. You can't have, I don't want to have no uh shrimp sticking out, so got to make sure. That's good. Okay. Now you have it. That's another one. That's two of them. You hear me? All right. Now. I'm gonna be back with the rest of them, or however else, men, however many else that I can get. Okay, so we be back. Okay, y'all. It did not make 14. It made 12. And as y'all can see, I got the broken, the broken right here, and the last one right here. The last two, one here and one here. So, you know, it made 12. Now, what I'm about to do is I'm about to just cover it up. And I'm going to put it in the freezer for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then when I come back, it's going to be time to fry them. You're, well, it's going to be time to put them in the egg wash and, you know, make them look pretty for y'all. You hear me? I'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm back. And as you can see, I have my setup together. I have some egg, which I'm about to put some seasoning in here. About to season my egg. Ain't going to hurt nothing. Like I tell y'all, if you season throughout, you'll always have a what? A tasty outcome, you hear me? Yep. All right. I'm going to do that some more. I'm going to do, I'm going to stir it up some more. I already seasoned this. This is cornmeal and a little of my uh, fish fry. And I got some of my seasoning in here. I have these, you know, they were in the freezer. They were in the freezer for 30 minutes. This is the panko breadcrumbs y'all look at this this it looks weird i mean it, it really look weird to me because they look like little pieces of hard and i'm talking about super hard rice you hear me that's what it look like but mm, i mean I'm, I'm i'm gonna do i'm gonna do one or two in this because i i mean i want i want that real crunchy <coughs> i want that real crunchiness but if this come out like, I don't know. I mean, because this kind of look like little pebbles, you heard me? So, I don't know. Now, let me get this and stir this up. Cause, yeah, I mean. mm. All right. No, because you got a cup of it on the side and crunch it. Uh... That seasoning ain't gonna hurt nothing. That ain't nothing but flavor, girl. I was telling you, put it in your egg. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, y'all. I know y'all was looking for me. Yeah, there she is. There she is. Y'all know I wasn't gonna be able to finish this video without somebody making their damn debut. All right. Now, this is how I'm gonna do this, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna put it in here. All right, and I'm gonna fry this off camera because my uh my deep fryer was here, but it's setting up over there because I ain't trying to be getting popped. I'm gonna put that in here, All right? I'm gonna put it in the egg. One wet hand, one dry hand. And I'm gonna do this one for my baby. So, all right. Why you gotta do mine first? Cause I want you to taste it. And tell them what you think. But you ain't got to do my first. Your <laughs> grease ain't even girl. hot. It's going to go right to, to the side. You know, it ain't going to hurt nothing. All right. So, and this is what it looks like, like that, right? All right. So, just want, you know, make sure, just make sure it's like that. All right. That's one. This is the second one. I'm going I'm to do maybe four of these with y'all on camera. What? Then I'm going to come back and let y'all see what it looks like. Um, 
what it looks like once it's finished. So this is the second one. Oh, come on, turn. Don't do all that. Don't do all that. Don't show your colors. Don't, don't, don't do it. All right, and I'm going to put it in here. Oh, yeah. I ain't worrying about that, um, this egg falling on my stuff right there. So. All right. All right. Okay. Go to the back here. It's open and exposed. Uh, all right. I'm going right. to put this on another plate because I don't want to uh, mix them. Oh, I thought for me. All right, let's do another one. We're gonna put them in the seasoning, in the seasoned cornmeal and fish fry. All right, put it back in the egg, put it in the egg. And this time, this time I'm gonna put it back in the season. In the seasoned cornmeal. All right. And back in the egg. What about it? I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure it's all, you know, all done. I'll put it back in the egg. Oh. Put it back in the egg. Why are you putting all that egg on it? Just chill. I know what I'm doing. I ain't got to chill. I'm just asking a question. Uh, I guess uh, it don't, you know, I don't deserve I an answer, that. right? Because that makes it real crispy. That's how I did it the last time. That, that just look like too I mean, much I didn't, meat. I didn't put a... Uh, I know it is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is. But it is what it is, B. I'm going to just... Do the top. Did it go like that? I got it. I'm going to do one more with y'all. And then I'm going to let y'all go. And then when I come back, these will be fried. Golden brown. And y'all going to see what it looks like after it's done. All right. And let yeah, me go ahead on. Yeah, give me that. still open. Oh. Uh, uh. All right. I'm going to put that on now. Okay. One more. All right. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's tedious, but you know, it's what I want. So, you know, I'm trying to get this off here. You know what? I'm just going to clip that. There you go. Put that back in there. Put it back in the egg. And then I'm going to put it in the panko breadcrumb. I'm going to only do four of these. So... Cause this is the third one, so I'm I'm gonna only do no, four. No, it's the second one. No, one, two. This is the third one. Yeah, but you, never mind. Cause I don't know, I don't know about these uh panko ones, so I don't know about them. I mean, it's probably gonna do what it do, but I don't know. Damn, this video is forty minutes. Oh, uh, -uh. see, I don't like doing those long videos like this but anyway this is what they look like y'all i'll be back when uh you press the pause anyway okay y'all this is what they look like since i uh you know battered them and put them in the panko and this is just a uh, cornmeal and fish fry so i'm about to fry these up and i'm gonna come back and let y'all see what they look like in a moment Okay, y'all, and here you have it. This is my crab stuff shrimp. These, Rachel, are the ones that I did in the cornmeal and fish fry. And these, Rachel, are the ones that I did in the panko breadcrumbs. These, Rachel, you know, they, all of them, all of them crispy. 
They crispy crunchy. I will be eating this on the walking and fat on my shoes tonight. So y'all go in and check this out. The video will come out late, y'all. I ain't gonna lie because I got a, I got a late start again. I've been getting a lot of late starts because I don't eat so early in the day, and I only eat well today. So you know. That's what that is, y'all. So, the video won't come out late, but it's going to come out. Y'all going to get it. So, anyway, with that being said, you guys, the rest of them are cooking. That's why y'all don't, you don't see all of them. The rest of them are cooking. And with that being said, matter of fact, I think I want to have one of them try this. Come here, Dwayne. Which one you want to try, the cornmeal one or the panko? I would like to try the cornmeal one. The corn... I, try, I try the panko one. Okay. It doesn't matter. Boy, stop. You know, um, okay. Try it. Okay. Here, here, here goes nothing. Mm. Oh, you hear that? Mm. Wait, let me, let me see. And this is the inside, y'all. Mm. Y'all see that shrimp? Perfectly cooked. Mm. Go with it brown. What you think? That's money, dude. That's what? That's money. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Anyway, y'all, with that man said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry. 40 some minutes, but anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I love y'all. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Oh, Curtis, you want to try too? Yeah, I'm going to take some. Okay, yeah, you can have some. <laughs> okay, well, here, Curtis, you can try one Come too. On, look at that for me, bro. Come on, Terry, you want to try it? It's all right. Oh, he, he won't try it off camera. Boy, come here. Try, try it, Curtis. Right. Y'all know I'm not going to eat all this, so anyway. They can't see your face or whatever, but you know, I mean, you can put your face in there <laughs> if you want to, but you know, even so, still try it. They can't he see breaking you. it. They can't see you breaking it. Break it. Go ahead. Put your hand right there and break it. Oh lord. Boy, what? All right. What you think? I don't do that. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's good. Not bad. It got a little spicy to it. Yeah, it's spicy. It's good. Did they make this? Why you better get out of my face? <laughs> Why you get out of my face, man? Nah, Either way, y'all. Either way, y'all. She can throw down a little bit. Not as good as me. Boy, please. Anyway, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I love y'all. Y'all take care of me. Bless. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you for coming and watching and rocking with the girl. Until next time, always remember to smile, smile, smile. Because when you're looking at me in the morning, you're looking at your word, baby. You're looking at love. What? You. I'm talking to you. Don't put that. You looking at you looking at your word, baby. You looking at love. Cause guess what? When I look in that mirror, I be like, good morning, beautiful. Good morning, bad bitch. You are enough. And you are worth it. Because I am. And so are you. And don't let nobody tell you nothing different. You heard me? You out here. We out here like that. You heard me? You a bad bitch. Yes, we are. And we out here like that. And like I always say, bad bitch come in all shapes, sizes, colors, and genders. You heard me? Like that. And with that being said, I'm going to push it down and pull you up later, family. I love y'all. Y'all stay safe out here. <coughs> Peace.